Guys, today we're here on the Light and Dark Only account on the Japan server to play with the brand new Second Awakened Gina, the Dark Mystic Witch. This is a unit. She got significantly better with the Second Awakening. She was pretty doo-doo before the Second Awakening, but after Second Awakening, she got significantly better. This is a unit, though, that I keep flip- I was playing with her. I keep flip-flopping between whether I like her or whether I'm like- Ah, she's disappointed me again. So let me talk to you about what I'm, I mean, RNG is RNG, right? Uh, first skill, continuous damage. This is the skill. It's not this skill that disappoints me. It's this skill that disappoints me. Covers all enemies. Poison to remove one beneficial effect. Inflicts damage. Prevents them from receiving beneficial effects for one turn. This is great. Until you get to <laughs> the will and shield runes or a Wusa. And then... And then it's a nightmare, and then you're like, well, it's only going to remove one beneficial effect, so maybe I get the will, maybe I don't, maybe I get the immunity, maybe I don't get the immunity. So this, that's really what the big, uh, the big issue with this. I mean, this, and then the team that we're going to use it with is very fun, but... Like, weird things counter it, like the, like, f well, first off, Juno, uh, Josephine, things like that. I'll show you in a second. I'll show you in a second. So, this is cool, but it only strips one beneficial effect. Keep that in mind. And then we have the Thorny Bush Summoning Attacks. All enemies four times uh, by summoning Thorny Bushes and inflicts continuous damage. Two turns, 60% chance each. Um, last attack additionally puts them to sleep for one turn, 60% chance. So, this also goes up. We did Devilmon her. Gets one cool time turn reduction and then harmful effect rate. Both big debuffs. The damage I don't really care about because we just have her on speed HP. Well, speed HP defense because we needed this to be able to have her fast enough on here. But uh, so she's on speed HP defense. Um, we're not using her as an attacker unit. We're using her for that. She does damage through her continuous damage. So we're just using her for that. So let's play around with her. I'll show you guys the team. It's a fun team to use. I don't know that it's going to do amazing in high level... Uh, high level PvP, but it's still a fun team to use. So here's the team that we're going to use with this. I know there's a Tableau and a Frigate. You don't necessarily need to use the Tableau and the Frigate. The big combination is Gina and Thrain. So she's going to do strips. She's going to do a lot of continuous damage. Tableau is actually going to... Well, I'll show you guys what the team is actually going to do instead of me just talking about it, right? So we're going to strip. We're going to block beneficial effects. We're. I mean, if they had will runes, this would be... Let's let's show you guys one with Will <laughs> so we see so we see exactly how much of a pain it actually winds up being. So we'll do this. We'll get some stuns. Then we come in with Tableau, and he's gonna give everyone else extra turn. Actually, we got we were almost um we were almost ready with that. Uh, what's his face attack? Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, let's do uh let's do one of him. Let's do one of. We don't actually need to do another one of there. We'll just do a little bit more damage here. Okay. And then we'll do one of these. We'll do another one of these plagues. We'll do... I mean, if there was a Juno on the enemy's defense or a Veramos or something like that, then we would have an issue, right? Then we would have an issue. So let's do... Or a Josephine. Like, Josephine is uh, very frustrating to deal with with this team. Not that people are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be hitting Josephine... De I mean, if you if you find a Josephine defense, you could just take anything into it. Just take a Lucian into it. We we're not gonna proc again, are we? Yeah, we're not gonna proc. All right, so we we lost the turn there. Let's get some sleeps. Okay, he's got to meditate. Is this gonna be a yeah? Perfect. So much continuous damage. This is just the continuous damage team from hell. That's what it really is. Let's do one of these, because he doesn't have that much continuous damage on him. Let's do full speed ahead. It's just a ridiculous turn cycling continuous damage team. That's all it is. Do we want no, we don't we, we don't wanna we don't wanna do Perna. We want Perna to actually get a turn. No, get a turn, Perna. Perna get a turn. <laughs> and now and now Perna solos the entire team. So that that is the Fantastic. That is the basic strategy of the team. It's actually pretty fun. Not that you need, like, it, you don't need Frigate specifically for this. You also don't need Tableau. You could use a Ganymede. You could use a bunch of other stuff. Well, the Ganymede. You could use a uh, Tattoo as well. There's a lot of different combos. It's basically just a whole bunch of whole bunch of continuous damage nonsense. Here we go. Here's another tanky defense. So the issue here is going to be, there. I mean, Harmonia shouldn't be an issue. Let's just make sure that we get... Uh, we try to focus on her first. Do they resist? They have all will runes. 
do they resist here? Toad poison. We're actually get and she also violent proct, which is even better. So we actually don't even have to worry about. I'm just gonna not do anything. I'm just gonna do that. Let's turn cycle some more. Let's go for one of these. Let's go for one of these. I mean, if Harmonia Violent Prox is going to be an issue. Let's do one of these. More. Continuous damage. Okay. So she luckily did not Violent Proc. Let's do Bombardment. If he gets a turn, that's going to be... An I mean, if anything gets extra turns, it's going to be an issue, as usual. Right? So let's do Doomsday now. Turn cycle a little bit more. Let's do... Maybe we get some stuns here. Actually, we probably shouldn't have done that. We probably should have tried... Uh, Tried proccing into a skill three again with him. No extra turns? Okay, we don't need extra turns. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly ridiculous, uh, fairly ridiculous thing. So again, Harmonia did not get a turn. I mean, you guys, you guys know that if these things get turns, then we're screwed, right? She's just gonna cleanse things and and everything like that. So as long as the enemy doesn't. <laughs> as long as the enemy doesn't get RNG on their side, or 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 even reasonable RNG, we can actually uh, we can actually win this stuff. It's a fun team to use. Again, I don't think that it's necessarily a ridiculous, crazy, uh, high level uh, PVP comp, but it's a fun team to use nevertheless. It's been enjoyable, at least for this account. So we have a Lydia here. So Lydia and Alexandra are actually decent enough teams to take something like this with continuous damage or bombs too um, into. See, this is this is a perfect example of why she sucks sometimes, because she only strips one thing. So if you want to strip, who knows if you're actually going to strip? So we didn't strip the will runes on on two of these things. So this is already going to be an issue. Let's just do. Let's just do this. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't want to... <laughs> it's like, are you sure? I'm just going to do so much continuous... So many turns. Okay. I mean, there's, there's a lot more situations where I would have appreciated those extra turns. We lucked out so hardcore. All right. This... We got really lucky here. We just got so many extra turns. Welcome to Summoner's War, but that's... And more extra turns. Yeah. So this is what happens if you get lucky with this team, guys. Who would have thought? Can we stun? We don't stun. Eh, I think we should still be fine. Archangel's Blessing, okay. Uh, let's start going for her, and let's just try to get enough continuous damage on this Lydia to actually kill. Perfect. So she did her thing, but, you know, she didn't have enough, uh, enough juice. She didn't have enough juice in her to actually do anything crazy. We're getting so many turns. Like, we, we, we really should have lost this, though. Seriously. But we just got so many, so many, so many, so many ridiculous amount of turns. This is a ridiculous turn team, though. This is a, this is a team where you just get excessive turns. We get the stun there too. Let's get some uh, block beneficial effects. And I think we should be. I think we should be good at this point. I mean, how many more turns do we really need? I say that now. We we can't even put any more debuffs on these units. We can't even put any more debuffs. So I guess we just gotta go for... We can't put any more debuffs on them. I'm just doing this for the extra turn so we can do Doomsday, maybe get some additional damage uh, on these things. Not that we eat... Oh my goodness. Guys, if you get 1,300 turns in one match... I can't remember the, 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 the last time that I got this many turns. So I'm trying to find some kinky defenses, some like kinky, not kinky, like the monster kinky, the light, the light on Imusha, that monster, not defenses that I find like, never mind. We don't have, we don't have to continue this conversation. What I'm trying to say, you know what? I'm going to not say anything anymore, just at all. So I'm not really too worried about, uh, 
I'm not worried enough about him to to really go for the AoE. I'm I'm really not. I'm I'm not worried enough about Tyrannus. I don't want to like risk any crazy nonsense happening. So we'll just we'll just uh, we'll just not use skill three there. If we get okay, no one violent proc or anything crazy. Okay, now now we'll do it. Now we'll do it. We'll do the try to do the CC. So no, uh, we we got the block beneficial effects on. Actually, they already cycled out of it. Did or did they not get it? I know he got it. I know Tyrannus got the block beneficial effects. Do we proc? No proc. We proc here though, which is great, which means we not get more continuous damage. Yeah, which means if we get one one more proc. One more proc. We do get another proc. Okay, which means we cycle again. This is insane. The the power of Thrain. Lulz, which means we get more plagues. This is too much turn cycle. Is this too much turn cycling? I feel like this is too much turn cycling. All right, let's do some more. Yeah, let's do some more of these. Oh, we killed Parna. Now we're going to have to deal with this stuff. All right. Oh, or we could just do this. Let's do full speed ahead, which also means that we get more continuous damage. And then we get more stuns. But not on Perna, clearly. Clearly not on Perna. All right, I think we, we, we're fine. We don't, need, we don't need anything there. All right. Additional damage artifacts. I have a little bit of additional damage um, artifacts, but additional damage artifacts would be nice on uh, on her since she does multi hits with skill three. So this is just ridiculous. Not that this is a hard defense, but this is just a ridiculous offense. Again, we're just hitting bruiser teams with this. I don't feel confident enough in the rune farming on this again. I mean, like we do farm runes, but let's be honest, like. You need some crazy runes nowadays. So, I actually don't even know how fast he is. I just assume he's not fast enough. So, we've got block beneficial effects on everything. This is wonderful. We do a Doomsday. Even if Rakan moves, right? Block beneficial effects. Even if Wusa moves, block beneficial effects. Can we get some stunts? No, we can't. Can we get some Thorny Bush summoning? Okay, perfect. Let's go for the ones that already have the stuns on them. Does anyone violent proc? He violent proc. Oh, he violent procs into his. Well, it didn't matter anyway. That's what I was trying to tell you guys is that it doesn't. It always winds up not even mattering. Let's do toad poison. Let's see. We do get the block beneficial effects, but he still. So Rakan has no attack power. Um... Oh, nice. No attack power buff, but still. Could be fairly annoying. Lovely. Kind of a fun team, though. Like, it's it's a fun team. I don't, again, don't think it's going to be effective in high level, uh, high level stuff, but it's fun. So I haven't tried this yet, but it looks like a fun team. We got the three Inugamis. We got the, the Gina. We got, I always want to call her Gina because I think it's funny. And then we have the uh, Dark Vampire Lord. Yurgar. What kind of a name is whatever? I shouldn't, I shouldn't judge names. It's just... It's an interesting name that they went with on the Dark Vampire Lord. I was thinking like, I don't know, Vladimir or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I don't know what I would have gone with. But let's see. We need a defense break. There we go. And then we get the scar on there. Hundred and there was that hundred thirty six thousand damage, something like that. Okay. Should be fun until we lose, <laughs> and then and then it stops being fun. Okay, we do have two block beneficial effects here, though. So. Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't know why the animations are on. Fantastic. I love it. Okay, so now she's got the block beneficial effects. So we already got one up, which is great. We get the team ups. Fantastic. We got some heals anyway. We got another block beneficial effects. And then as soon as we get the scar, beautiful. What a lovely team, if I do say so myself. It's probably a new best, yeah, it's probably a new best score. Or probably. It's literally, it just says new best 59. It's probably a new, 
Alright guys, that's Gina, the Dark Mystic Witch. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you as always. I mean, you don't have to use the you don't have to use a tableau frigate team. You can make that work with other teams. That's just what we have on the LD only account because it's LD only. So can't use other things if it's only LDs. But it's still a fun team. Regardless, if it probably doesn't work into high level PvP, it's still a fun team. That's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.